welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video I'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to use glass shard angel pieces and glitter and gel polish. So if you were doing this on a client's nails, on the natural nails, you'd need to go in with the base coat and that is all about the base from Magpie Beauty. But as we're just going on a nail practice pop stick thing, we'll just go straight in with the colour. And the colour I'm using is Black Betty from Magpie Beauty, it's one of their gel colours. And I'm just going in with one layer of this because this gel colour is so pigmented that is all you need and I recommend with magpie gel colours to float them a little bit going with a little bit thicker than you would normally do with other colours and gel polishes but yeah popping that into the lamp only for 30 seconds we're only going to be doing half cure because then we're going to go in with our glitter and for this look I recommend going in with a really holographic glitter that's the best way of getting the most of the effect and these are the Magpie Beauty Supercharged Holographic Glitters and I'm choosing Charity as my glitter. She is a stunning gold holographic. And I'm using my Magpie Beauty applicator brush, taking some of that glitter and tapping off the excess because you don't need much for this look. And I'm not going anywhere near the actual pop stick, I'm literally just tapping that brush and letting it drop onto the nail so it's a real small amount that's actually going onto the nail and as you can see it creates a really starry beautiful sparkly effect but quite subtle as well so that's going to go back into the lamp for the rest of the 30 second cure and now we're back out I'm going to go in with Magpie Beauty Let It Shine top coat going to almost float this over the glitter because we want to it encapsulate that glitter so yeah I'm just floating that over starting from what would be the cuticle area down giving it a nice even layer making sure if you are on a client's nails to cap that free edge so look how beautiful that looks it looks like galaxy nails or something you could just leave it like this I've done that before it looks beautiful so I'm going in with this angel paper from Charlie's Nail Art and I'm just cutting it into some fine shard pieces. Going in with a pair of tweezers and I haven't cured this top coat yet so it's still, still wet. And I'm just going to lay it in, don't worry about positioning at the moment, I'm literally just laying in the pieces into that top coat. And then in a minute I'll go in with a dotting tool and start to move them about and position them where I want them. And this is where I make sure that they are fully in from one end to the other because you don't want the tips sticking out because that's when you're going to get them coming off the nail because it's got that edge to lift away from. So make sure that you've got all the ends stuck down. Already it's looking stunning. So that's gone into the lamp for 60 seconds. So that will secure those in and come back out. So now we've got to encapsulate it. I'm using the Gel Bottle Ink Rubber Top Coat, but you can also use Magpie Beauty Give Me Strength. Same thing. So you would use it in the same way. So I'm literally just floating this across the nail. And what this is doing is encapsulating those shards and the glitter and kind of merging them together but also by using this rather than a normal top coat you're really going to get longevity with the shards they're not going to lift or peel I get four weeks wear out of these nails with no chipping or lifting but yeah as you can see I'm just showing you how encapsulated it is so you can't see any of those shards sticking out or anything like that but yeah that's going to go into the lamp and I cure my gel bottle link rubber top coat for 60 seconds so I'm going with my Magpie Buffer, just showing you how it's not got a dispersion layer on it. I'm just buffing over the top and I would do this the same as I would do on natural nails, if I was doing this design over enhancements, extensions, acrylic or gel. I'm just buffing over and this is just going to refine that surface area and you can see the effect it creates. Now if you want to, you could buff over and put a matte top coat on. This looks really cool. I almost, in a way, prefer it. It makes those shards look really metallic 
and stand out but yeah as you can see I haven't put a matte top coat on but even just from buffing it it looks really cool really quite like it like that but so now I am finished buffing make sure you get right around the edges wipe it off get rid of all that dust and then I'm gonna go in with magpie beauty let it shine top coat so all you need is one coat of this I'm just painting this on normally as I would and you can see the different effect it gives from matte to with the top coat it's really cool so you can literally do it either way they both give such different effects making sure you're capping that free edge pop that into the lamp for 60 seconds and you are done so yeah it creates a really cool effect and you can do this with any base gel colour change up the glitter colour you can get different coloured angel shard paper it's a really cool way of switching up nail art and really effective I love this technique and by doing it this way you won't get any of those angel paper shards lifting or coming off Thank you so much for watching, I'll let you enjoy these couple of pictures, so that's before the top coat and this is after, but yeah if you love this tutorial please like and subscribe to my channel for more, thank you so much for watching, see you in my next one, bye!